everyone. This is Nabir Watcher. It is January 22nd, 2017. Sorry, I haven't made that many videos recently, but there have been some natural disasters in my area and personal problems as well as spiritual searching to see what it is that I'm looking at. And after careful study, I'm going to show you what I have further discovery of what I've learned and what we're seeing in the skies. And I'm going to show you first the image and the reason why we're seeing it. So I'm calling this a projection or an out of focus planet when a real planet is in a different area of the sky. And these lens systems that pull these out of focus from your eyes and removing the moving the focal point so you can't see it. Please go watch my fake sun videos that further explain with demonstration how this lens system works. However, these are not the conventional thick lenses. These are high tech thin lenses. So just go back and watch that. Now, again, in this video, you can see the sun setting behind what is shining on the object. We can see the object moving and setting. We could uh, zoom in on it. We can see the chemtrails basically in front of it. It appears to be a low altitude object. Again, it is a projection because of the lens system projecting the planet, changing its point of view. But check this out. When the sun gets behind the actual planet, it will form a halo like this one. Or this one. In the same area. Now, let's go back and look at the time. Let's try to take my time with this. So here is our object. It is 2014 November, Wednesday the 19th at 3 o'clock. On the same location, again, we're seeing all these halos because these are the exact positions where these planets are that I'll show you. Please go back and watch. Here we can see this giant halo here. What is a halo? What is a really halo? Well, it's not just ice crystals because these are chemtrails. And how come it always lines up like a perfect halo behind a chemtrail? And where are the rest of the colors of a rainbow anyways? And why is there no heat when this thing shines? This is outside is the actual sunlight. This is the fake sun simulator light, the white light. The real yellow sun is behind the actual sun simulator. We do get a combination of the light. We get its heat from the sun still. This has not produced much heat, hardly any heat. It's all white light. So there will be a drop in heat when this thing falls. When you see these halos, you will no longer feel the sun on your face. And those people out there, and again, so here is our object, out of focus planet, with the, again, with the sun halo. And this object here, I think, is actually um, a second sun simulator, because it's always with the sun, and um, it had disappeared. We can see the lensing effect here. And we can see the giant round planet. We can see the light escaping from outside the edge of this planet and perhaps the secondary planet here. I know it sounds crazy. And you say that this is impossible. If the planets were that close, we would have tremendous effects. Well, you got to think, again, we've been lied to. We live in an electric universe. There are a bunch of magnets bumping around out there. And so let me show you... Uh, the lens system real quick a quick video and let's see if I pull this up we can have uh, this one here okay so this is the Australian sunset again for those of you who have already seen this I apologize but for you who have never seen this before this is for the unbelievers this is all Australia this is a time-lapse video and here we can see the rose petal lens this is the fake Sun these are the lens system here it's got a spin in Fresnel system here, and there's evidence of it with this timely oscillating light that goes above and below. See this light here? And down here, we can see the sun lens system up here during the sunset. You do the time lapse, you'll see this also. We can see even another lens out here. And also in the lens system here, we can see that this thing is the emitter of the light. And this is caught on FAA camera, and this is your projection of this lens system here right there okay yep of a camera 
So there you go. Next, I want to show you uh, when these planets are getting close to the Earth. However, I did not capture it on these. I have been witnessed it with my own eyes, though. So let's watch some of these compilation videos of these sun halos. Here we can see that this thing is huge. And there's our fake simulator with the Fresnel lens right down the middle and a second light. No explanation for that, okay? Except these are being eclipses. Here is another one. The three sun videos that you keep seeing. Yeah, this atmospheric light BS that you hear, that does not explain for this. This is an eclipse with a fake sun in the middle. The total absence of heat. By the way, this has never been seen before. Okay, people that watch this, I've never seen this before in their comments. They don't. Again, how about some cloud punches? Right? Magnetic vortex. I saw this, captured it with my own eyes. Look at this thing. This is some crazy. It looks like a UFO, right? Well, no, it's the gravity of the planet punching through. They just had to be chemtrailing during the afternoon at sunset, like they always do. To cover the sun. When the sun, the planet touches our atmosphere, it pushes through in a vortex cloud. If this would have been a thunderhead, that would have been a major hailstorm as it compresses our atmosphere. Again, more cloud punches that people have never seen before, but they always have an explanation. Of course, they got to have an explanation. They couldn't possibly. Oh, look, a partial eclipse in the middle of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, they got some BS excuse for this. These meteorologists always have an excuse. But can you trust these people, right? They say it always rains. 50% chance of rain. Can't lose with that guess. Who can't do that? Oh, look, a double cloud punch. One cloud in here. And again, we've got the vortex with a eclipse right in the middle of it. Here's a more prominent double planetary eclipse. And you can see the gravity pressure fields, uh, pressure boundaries of the magnetic fields of this cloud punch. The whole thing travels. Let's see if uh, uh, nothing to see here. So I'm just going to my quick compilation. Now let me go back to some of the more compelling videos, uh, live camera actions. I will leave a link in the description of we could see of this hexagonal sun. We see it even in our, we can see the evidence of it here. We can see the slight rainbow here. We see the lensing action here and on the edges. We almost had a three sun event here. Not as close. I love this one. This one's very telling. Now it makes observing these things even more powerful because you used to be frustrated when there's clouds or chemtrails in the way. Now all it does is show these halos, making it more evident. They're actually starting to show the very evidence of this event during this cloud. Again, look at the timestamp here, January 17th. During this time of the year, we had the same planets in this area that they're heavy spraying in this area. Why would they do such a thing, right? Try and keep my videos under 15 minutes, but I try and describe to you everything that I'm seeing and why you're seeing it as crazy as it sounds. This is, uh, again, you can almost make out the halo here. And uh, again, I think this is the second uh, sun simulator because it never moves month after month, always in this, almost the same position. Here we could see the second sun simulator further out. Some want to call that a lens flare, but uh, why does it disappear? Why not on cameras? You guys know what lens flares look like. Remember, a lens flare is in the lens. So why is this behind the clouds right there? And there's more of them. I'm not even making a video about that. It just happens to be in the picture. Look, we still see the second uh, sun simulator here. I even showed that in my second video. There was apparently one mounted to the space station, and we look very carefully. We can see the shadow of the planet here and the projection of the green planet. Apparently, my connection has gotten very slow. Let's see if I can catch. Again, here is our milky white cloudy projection of a planet that we see. And now my connection is very slow. Here we're seeing a uh, okay, I like this one. Let's see if I can zoom in on this picture here. 
that remember that second sun simulator look at that still think that's the lens flare <laughs> Yeah, that's that bright diet. They just missed that one spot during the chem trailing, just uh, right after a storm. Here's the actual sun is in here, and here we get your cold busted. Man, that was hard to catch that one, but you missed a spot, Mr. Chem Trailer. Dang. Appreciate it, though. And here he is covered up with a cloud, that same object. And uh, apparently my network connection is slowed down. And again, we can see this dot gonna make out the halo and ah here we go november 14th saturday 22nd apparently these two planets we have one here one here this one here seems to be in orbit like this this one here is in a eccentric orbit basically coming straight at us from the horizon on a highly eccentric eccentric orbit coming out basically like a comet and probably dips back out and stays in their position for several months at least a couple of months that I see. Again, we can see the same object here, November 23rd. So when you start to see these halos, again, look at that thing, just misses it. Almost had a full eclipse. We would have had a nice halo there, missed it on that one. But bam, we got on this one. Now you see that? So here we got, I hope you guys are paying attention. So here's the projection of the planet, Sunday the 23rd. And here we go. The next day, we got the alignment. There you go. There's your halo. Okay? So if you're paying attention, this you need to share it right here at this point. This is awesome. There's your smoking gun. Wow. That blows my mind. That is unamazing. I don't like making another boring video. This one here. And here we see the planet that is here has now moved uh, let me look at the, the timestamp, whether it's going up or down. Okay, so we got December. The planet was up here, and now it has moved. Uh, where are we at? Aha, okay. November, yep. And now it is further in the month, and is now up here. And now we're also getting the signs of early halo. If that sucker lines up, we would have one. Just almost had the halo. And almost probably a partial eclipse there. You can almost see the shadow of it in this clouds. Now, I hope you all know what to look for. Again, this planet had moved from here to here. It is, seems to appears to be in orbit. It was just traveling from the 7 o'clock far position up towards the sun. Actually, the 4 o'clock to closer to the 2 o'clock, 2.30 position. And we still have a planet here and here. And let's see if this will give us a halo during the time lapse almost partial eclipse you can almost make out the shadow here so please copy like and share this video i hope this whole situation <laughs> eclipse face on makes more sense i'll leave links in the description please watch this to the end though it was uh hope it make it worth your while it's hard as to believe <sighs> Let me see how many, uh, again, we got uh, this planet doesn't seem to have a whole lot of movement, and this appears to be stationary. And if you guys say, why is it stationary? It's because it's traveling fat. It's traveling uh, around a sun that is in the same velocity and speed of our as our Earth. So as Nemesis, it's traveling around Nemesis and our sun in a comet-like elliptical orbit. And with Nemesis pacing us around the Earth, this appears to be still until it finally, what it really does, it slowly gets bigger and bigger and slowly gets smaller and smaller as it travels away from our sun into the Nemesis. Again, we see the progression of this planet. December 26 is now behind, directly above here. So anyone who wants to do some further work on this, you can put the uh, orbit of these planets that have Look at the total absence of light here. Look at that. Oh, and I also remember to mention that the uh, they've uh, left out the camera attributes on these. See, check this out. If I go back, go forward a year. Oh, there they are, but they left it out. 
Maybe that camera problem is a soft software problem. Whatever. You got excuses. Go for it. Uh, <clears throat> sure, it's nice to see the camera attributes and watch the ISO in ISO change as it goes into an eclipse. More further evidence. So expect them to probably start removing uh, this off. And if they do, I told you so. Because it's just more evidence of what's happening with these cameras. Okay, and we see uh, the eclipse of a planet there. So this planet, it is now January. This uh, planet has probably moved way up above the sun here, completely out of the plane. Oh, well, check this one out. So check, I don't know if I didn't show you this uh, halo here. <laughs> I love it. So January 19th, 2017 or 15. And look, I love this one. This is one of my favorite shots. Hope you're watching this whole time. Look at the halo move with the sun. Right? And then we can see almost the, the rainbow effect right here is this whole thing shifted, moved with it. Sometimes I wish I would have showed this first. Look at that. Remember how sol solar eclipses work, though. They, uh, they only shine a shadow on certain areas of the Earth, right? Just like a lunar eclipse or same thing here. The whole planet doesn't get to see it, only from this angle. This is uh, some f photos from one of my subscribers, Mike Taylor. And on the same topic, let's watch another planetary so or solar eclipse hidden by the fake sun in the middle. So here is the sunrise. You guys catching this right here? So here is the shadow of the planet. And this little rainbow here is the light leaking out from the edge of the planet, giving it rainbow. And if it comes far enough around, it will shine like the sun. So we will see three suns, two suns. Look at this rainbow formation here. This is an eclipse. Again, wow, that's pretty awesome, man. Look at this. Look how this thing lights up like a rainbow. Yeah, these meteorologists, and here you go. There's your out of focus, shadowy, milky white planets that never move in the sky during a time lapse. Thank you, Mike Taylor, for that one. That was awesome. I'm also have an eye out for cloud punches. If you showed you earlier in my video, I would love to show those on here. Look at this. Do you see this out of focus planet here? Okay, let's watch this in reverse. When the sun gets behind this thing, it eclipses it, and there you go. There's your rainbow. Not even all the colors of the rainbow, right? Where is green? Okay, there's no ice crystals here. This is chemtrails. If it was ice crystals, where are the other colors of the rainbow? And why not the whole thing? This does not account for that intense light. Really, a hexagonal ice is going to focus light on a single point, always at the 6 and 9 o'clock position? Give me a break. It's funny how that matches up with the International Space Station, right? You've seen that video. Remember the pictures of my International Space Station here, right? Here's your halo. There's the International. There's your... Probably the second sun. This one's a mounted. Don't quite know why they have two of them, but there you have it, right? And that's there's this light thing that we saw in space, and here we see it on the ground. And we also saw it on some of the video we showed you earlier today. So, again, please copy, like, and share this video, and check often or go to... Uh... Okay, so... YouTube has been unsubscribing from truthers like me. So if that happens, you can just go to their webpage. There should be a bell. And if that bell's not there, let me know. I was told it's actually not there. It should be on every YouTube channel. If it's not, well, there's Big Brother for you. Sorry. But if it is, you just click on here, send me notifications, and it's save, and you're locked. You should be getting notifications, okay? Don't be surprised if they unsubscribe you. So check back every once in a while. And uh, again, thank you for watching. Have a blessed day. Again, see you at the Lord's Supper.